Welcome back for some more Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And I'm the Master Gamer. This is not that bad of a game, but it's just way too difficult. I'm on Dragon Roost Island. To those pirates. Mm. It's probably the one and only time you get to see them in this game, as far as I know. She's rude anyway. <laughs> I don't know why I care. Sorry, I have a sandwich. Well, a chicken wrap, actually. I don't know why I said sandwich. Anyway, I gotta talk to... Okay. The Rito or Rito or whatever are a strange looking bunch, I'll tell you that. You really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. So? <laughs> you gotta see this guy. His clothes are green and he wears this strange shaped hat. He's amazing. You're a guy, aren't you? Homie, I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit, Valu. My name is Menmi. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. He wants you to give... To give... This is directly to Prince Komali. You accepted father's letter. It is a letter from... From a father just to his son. Since you just received the fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry this letter down to Komali? Will you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The room, the room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't be offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come down to the entrance of the of Dragon Roost Cavern later. I'll explain everything then. What in the world was he doing? Sorry, I'm just really hungry. Let's see what this guy wants. Hold on, I have not seen... I've not seen your young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Mm hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to our post posting for some part-time help, would you? Yes. Will you pay me? Oh, excellent, that's good. But first, to see if I can use you or not. I need to give you a little test. Just a small one. Catch the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter onto that shelf. Real easy. Simple. Use this button. Select the shelf. Well, is that clear? Yes. Before time runs out, you have, a, you have to sort at least ten letters. Give it your best shot. Okay.
29. Wait, I got 27. He says one ruby for each letter. He gave me 14. Let's go see Prince Komali or whatever. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Oh, well, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has, has to go get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business? You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What, are you saying you that you... Can't calm Valu down? Psh, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything, anything you say. Aren't you a little jerk? I don't like him at all. Alright, now let's go see Medali or whatever her name is. He actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry, and in his rage, he shook the mountain, and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. The spring. I can see the result. How oh, boring is my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Komali? I didn't even say anything. <laughs> Could she read minds? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be particularly blamed for the bad turn that Prince Komali's taken. See, Prince Komali's grandmother was the great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with... <coughs> Excuse me, that was the food. For the great Valu. And I get worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I pos possess some some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. I I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I can get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I can get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. Yeah. Thanks so much. Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me. Now Miss Kearns was really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, now I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Okay. Fly! Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's that was next time to work. Yeah, go on. Why do they look so strange? Go! Fly, little girl! Oh. I 
I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. <laughs> but I gotta stop. Thank you for watching. Please rate and subscribe.